This is Steve Kowski, and I recently had a chance to talk to Evan Burns. He's a sales engineer for CrowdStrike, formerly on the implementation side. He's based in Toronto. Here's what Evan had to say. Initially, when we started off with this being an early adopter, uh, we had kind of you know come to CrowdStrike with this proposition of what we were trying to accomplish. Uh, so we were able to work with engineering team to be some of the beta testers uh, for the first initial public APIs. So really what we were doing was extending the Falcon host platform from the cloud and be able to consume that data locally within our on-premise architecture and also integrate into our other types of data sources. So it was really kind of the first poster child of integration and extending the Falcon host platform. Now that we're, we're going to roll this capability out into the workplace, um, what do you think it's going to mean for, for customers? Have you had some conversations with customers? Are they excited about this? Yeah, we, we've met with a few folks. I think ultimately uh, the large value is going to be to the types of organizations that do have some development expertise internally um, to really kind of contribute back to the, to the project. So uh, this is going to be an open source project where we'll open up the source code uh, to the community as a whole and allow people to kind of extend the platform. Uh, so for folks that are kind of going through a lot of pain points in terms of integration into Sims, or maybe feeling like the Sims aren't giving them everything they need out of typical workflow, uh, they'll be able to take this open source code, extend it, and have it fit into a really kind of the security process that makes sense to them. So another kind of methodology that I think about is, you know, if you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Well, ideally, we like to build systems that adapt to the processes we want rather than have to fit our processes into existing technology. Okay. And have you, you've seen this in action. Uh, can you give us any uh, examples of, of uh, particular types of attacks, how you were able to, um, to respond to them quicker or, or uh, you know, to deal with alerts and other information uh, on a more holistic basis using this capability? Yeah, I mean, I would say primarily the, the large value in this is having additional context provided to the analyst. So when they receive a detection event from the Falcon Host platform, uh, a traditional kind of workflow would look like reaching out to active directories, maybe understand what that user's role is within the company, uh, understand the potential implications if, that, if those credentials were compromised. So with this system, you have all of that context, context presented to you uh, right at the onset, which allows you to respond much more quickly. Uh, additional components to the platform will allow you to take responsive action on an endpoint itself. So let's say we identify a compromised host, we could actually reach back, initiate a system restore, and, and revert back to an older configuration. Uh, or perhaps we want to go and actually extract a file and use that for post analysis. Uh, those are the type of ca capabilities that we built into the platform Again, really just aimed at streamlining the analyst workflow. Okay. Well, you're at the forefront of this. If you look down the road, six, eight months um, where this is out in the field, what are some of the other uses? What are some of the other capabilities that you think that our customers may be able, able to develop using this, this type of a workflow? Yeah, I think ultimately the, the kind of concept and market within security right now for security uh, orchestration and automation is really uh, becoming a much more prominent nowadays because folks are starting to realize that there's immense value in being able to take all of your technologies and rather than have them as disparate systems to really kind of connect them together. Uh, so I see a lot, or I, I would hope that a lot of people get involved within the project to look at you know, integration with maybe network level appliances and firewalls or actually directly into the orchestration platforms themselves. Okay. Well, Evan Burns, I want to thank you for taking us on a little tour of the cutting edge of enterprise security today, and also to uh, thank you for the work that you've done and the work you'll be doing in the future. Absolutely. Thanks very much, Steve.